They are home, coming home as true civic assets, critical parts of our communities. We need them there. Mm -hmm. They are of service for life and they are leaders. Um, and the men and women that we work with are as well. And I think all of our veterans, including the ones who are struggling, are of our nation's greatest and most valuable civic assets. And for example, one of my dear friends who is profiled in the film Halfway Home that yes. I co-executive produced, his name is Tommy Riemann. And when you read the accounts of, of what he did, he truly is a hero. He is a Silver Star recipient. Um, he was acknowledged by President Bush in the State of the Union, received a several minute standing ovation. And the entire time when he was getting the accolades, he was struggling. And he was dealing with PTF, self-medicating. His family life fell apart. His marriage fell apart. And after a night of heavy drinking, he left a note and drove his truck into a tree. Thank goodness he survived. Okay and he was facing charges for a DUI. And that was around the same time that I was offered this position. And I remember thinking, Tommy Raymond doesn't belong behind bars. Tommy is one of the best people I know. And we, we would lose so much, I would lose so much if we lost him to the system. At that time, North Carolina was opening its very first veterans treatment court, and Tommy was in North Carolina. Okay. And Tommy was able to get into a veterans treatment court, but it was three hours away from where he lived. So he had to drive weekly to appear before the court, three hours each way, and he was willing to do that. And I'm very happy to say that I was able to attend Tommy's graduation. Oh, that's awesome. And he is now executive director of a national nonprofit that helps veterans called the Independence Fund. And he's been a huge supporter of veterans treatment courts and justice for vets, and certainly an example of how much we would all lose if we lost Tommy Raymond.